when you look at free as it is now, since you have brought it up and, and its execution, implementation, recently the president said, oh, the students have passed like this. It is, it is, it vindicates me in terms of free SHS. But what are the core problems you see? People have said, for example, that no, it shouldn't be a blanket policy. There are people who are well-to-do who can put their children through school. They should be paying. There are so many, pro I mean, professors, academics, so many people have said it's a good policy being executed in a bad way. What are the fundamental problems you see with it? Just the execution was so rushed. You know, and I know that the president had promised that as one of his flagships, that I'm going to give free SHS. So that was a promise. Great. And I, and I applaud him that he wanted to stick to his promise. But it's not just about sticking to the promise. It's about delivering the promise and delivering it with excellence. Mm. You know? And I don't think that anything would have hurt if he had thought maybe we'll put the plans and the strategy in place for the next three years. And in my last, in the, in the third year or fourth year, I will write the implementation so that it takes off and it takes off right. That's all I'm saying. Who is the right man in Ghana who will say that's an evil thing to do to give free HS? Nobody will say that. Mm. It's a Crowfell idea. Even the Constitution says we should work towards that progressively. So if you have chosen to work towards that, make sure you do it and do it so that everybody at the end of the day is talking about that. You know, now free HS is fantastic, but what are people thinking about it now? Yeah. You know? yeah. And that, that to me is the major concern. You can always, you can always, <laughs> what do you call it? You can always improve things. Mm. So just check to see how you can get it and execute it so that there are no problems with it. You know? Right. And the other problem, uh, uh, Benjamin, for uh, your next question is that we talk too much in Ghana. We do? We do. Mm. You know. And there's this thing called the quicksand. You know, quicksand is like mud. As I teach it, mud that you can, you can fall into accidentally. And there's something that they say about the quicksand. They say the more you the more wiggle, you struggle, yeah. the deeper you sink. So when you fall into quicksand, try and, and remain steady until you get help. You know. But if you try to rush, hey, Chele, the more you panic and you try to rush, the quicker you will sink. And I think that Ghana is now in an economic quicksand. Ghana is in an economic yes. quicksand. Quicksand, yeah. And the more we struggle, the deeper we sink. So let us just take our time to analyze deeply what needs to be taken instead of any knee-jerk reactions that will help us to sink quicker. You know. I